Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now as uh, Easter approaches today I'm going to make some hot cross biscuits. So with the flavours of hot cross buns but in uh, biscuit or cookie form and they're going to be nice and crunchy. You can bake them for slightly less time than I'm going to bake them and they would be softer but they will still have a little bit of crunch to them but I want crunchy ones. So they're actually quite simple to make. Just take a little bit of time because you chill the pastry dough uh, before you roll it out and then you chill it again as you're preheating the oven. So I go on to the ingredients and uh, I have two types of pastry to make, both the same types, but one's got the spices and fruit and the other one doesn't. So for the main biscuit pastry, I have 200 grams, which is one and a third cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 113 grams, which is one stick of softened unsalted butter. I have 87 grams, which is seven tablespoons of light brown sugar. I have uh, 50 grams, which is a third of a cup of currants and I'm using currants rather than raisins and sultanas because they're smaller and they go into a biscuit or a cookie better. I have two tablespoons 20 grams of chopped mixed peel which I have actually put onto a chopping board and chopped it even finer so that we don't have big chunks of the chopped peel in the biscuit. I have one medium egg yolk well, that would be large in the USA one teaspoon of mixed spice, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a pinch of salt. And then for the dough which I'm going to use to make the crosses, I have 50 grams, which is a third of a cup of plain flour. I have uh, 22 grams, which is a scant two tablespoons of caster sugar. I have 28 grams, two tablespoons of softened unsalted butter, and um, I'm going to use some of the egg white. Uh, now I may also use a bit of the egg white in the uh, biscuit or the, the, the cookie dough, uh, just to bring it all together if I need a little bit of liquid. You could use a bit of water. So I'll put uh, the, those aside and we'll make the dough for the biscuits and for that I need to cream my butter and my sugar in a larger bowl and I'm going to do this with my hand mixer just for ease but you could do it all by hand if you wanted to And that's mixed together quite nicely so I'm going to add in my egg yolk and mix that to combine. And then I'm going to add in the flour and the mixed spice and the cinnamon and the salt. But first of all, I'm going to mix those four ingredients together just with a whisk, just to get the flavours spread throughout the flour. And I'm going to 
whisk that in and as I whisk it in I'm going to tip in the currants and the uh, chopped mixed peel as well and work it until it becomes uh, starts to clump and if I need to add a little bit of egg white I will So with that mix like that, I'm just going to squeeze it and see how it comes together. And it comes together uh, quite well. So I don't think I need to add any uh, additional liquid into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze that between my hands to form it into a dough. just like that and I'm actually going to divide that into two pieces I just scrape down the, the bowl and I divide it roughly in half it doesn't have to be exact and the reason I'm doing that is that I'm going to make um, the cookies in two different ways just to show you and, and then if you want to make them you can choose which way you you prefer so I'll form the first half into a disc like that and I'm only doing a small batch today because I've done these twice already as tests but you can easily double the recipe and the second one the second piece of dough I'm going to form into a sort of log and then I'm going to wrap each of them in plastic wrap and I'm going to chill them for 30 minutes So they can go in the fridge and we'll make the dough for the, the crosses. So I'm just going to wipe off the whisk. And then I'm going to put my butter, 28 grams, into a bowl. And that's just the bowl that I had the flour in originally, so it's not making more washing up. And I'll put the 22 grams of sugar in. And just give that a whisk round. And then I'm going to add just a little drop of the egg white. This is to mo give the, the dough sufficient moisture. And then the 50 grams of flour. And again, I'll work this until we can squeeze it into a dough. I think that should be good enough. Yes, that's squeezing quite nicely into a dough. 
So I'll form that into a dough as well. And that will be wrapped in plastic wrap also. So I'll just form that into a little disc. And we'll chill that for the same length of time. And then after 30 minutes, I'll come back and we'll uh, be able to make the biscuits and put the crosses on. So I've taken the um, biscuit dough, the first piece, out of the fridge and I put it between uh, two pieces of plastic wrap and I'm going to roll it out to a thickness of about um, a quarter of an inch and it's likely to crack because it's a very uh, tender pastry but that's okay because we can always push it back together again. So that's good enough and what I'm going to do is take my 7 inch cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut out the rounds and then I will re-roll and do a few more. I'll put those onto a baking tray. So with uh, those biscuits rolled out, I've taken half of the dough that I'm going to use to make the crosses. I'm just going to squeeze that, soften it a little bit. And then I'm going to roll it out quite thin again between some parchment paper just for ease and I want it thinner than that quarter of an inch but I want it into a sort of rectangle if I can get it and then with that quite thin I want to um, cut some strips which are seven centimetres in length And I'm going to put those on to the biscuits to form the crosses. And how how big you make these strips, or how thick or broad you make the strips, is up to you. So I've just cut a few there and what I'm going to do just for ease is take some of the excess egg white and I'm simply going to brush it on the cookies and you can actually coat all over if you want or just in a cross shape and then I'll take one of the strips And if they break, we'll have to be a little bit careful with them. 
and I'm going to place that onto the biscuit like that and I'll place another one in the other direction like that straighten them up a little bit and simply press down and you can take the edges off if you want or you can leave them on the where they overlap that's fine so that's that I'll do the remainder of those so there are the crosses on the first batch of cookies so I'm going to put those into the fridge to chill them again uh, as my oven preheats and I've taken out the second piece of dough which was formed into a log and I'm going to cut that in half now I actually put this into the freezer for 10 minutes um, after I'd chilled it in the fridge just to make it easier to work with and what I'm going to do I've also rolled out the remaining half of my dough for the crosses I'm going to put half of that dough on to the cross dough and I'm just going to cut it like that very roughly and I'm going to put the two pieces of the dough back together again just like that and then I'm going to cut it in half the other way like that and I'm going to put the other piece of the dough on there and I'm just going to patch it so that it covers completely just like that and then I'm going to put them back together again I'm going to squeeze them together and then I'm going to cut them into cookies and put them onto a baking tray and if it crumbles I'm just going to put them in the fridge to chill them for a little bit longer but I want to cut them about a quarter of an inch thick And with those like that I'm actually going to just press them down to make them slightly thinner. Now you could do this with a rolling pin but I think doing it by hand is 
would work just as well. And so I've pressed those down um, and I've tried to make them fairly round in some instances but whatever shape is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill those as well and as I'm chilling both of them the oven is preheating to 180 celsius 160 celsius with the fan 350 fahrenheit and we're going to put them into the oven uh, once the oven is preheated uh, uh, and bake them for about 17 to 20 minutes i want them to go um, nice and crisp when they have cooled down and crisp and crunchy if you want them slightly softer maybe 15 to 18 minutes but i'll do 17 to 20 minutes i'll take them out of the oven allow them to cool down and then i'll come back and show you the results i baked the hot cross biscuits for 18 minutes and i took them out of the oven and allowed them uh, to cool for a couple of minutes then i transferred them to a wire rack and they've now cooled completely so this is what they look like so these are the ones where i put the strips on the top and these are the ones that I embedded the cross within the, the biscuit itself. They both baked up quite nicely. So um, I'll have a taste of one. Nice and crunchy. With a, a sort of quite a a crumbly texture I get the hot cross bun spices coming through and of course the uh, the fruit as well so they do have that hot cross bun flavor but in the biscuit or cookie form so these are actually simple to make and they're very very tasty so if you want an alternative to hot cross buns you might like to try these so that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.